What's up, everybody? Jim Wreckage, YouTube. We're about to do a back day today. Um, we're going to slow things down. A lot of people don't know a lot about form and the proper way to do things. Uh, me and him, we're constantly learning better ways to do things. So don't ever think that you know you can't evolve and get better as you go along. But we're going to slow things down a little bit. Uh, we're going to start off with pull-ups. So we're gonna just start off with pull-ups today. Um, we'll probably do two different grips, maybe three. We'll probably do three different grips. But one thing I want to stress is so many people with the pop, with the popularity of a lot of different forms of working out, so many people aren't stressing their back and their lats, building their wings. All of that like needs to be stressed for pull-ups. It's one of the best ways to build your back. Fully um, extending the arms. Fully extending your arms. So you're gonna come all the way down, and you're gonna come all the way up. You're gonna come all the way down, and come all the way up. As you can see, slow and control, all the way down, all the way up, pinch, squeeze. You wanna make sure you do this right. I don't care if you can only do three of them, two of them. Do, do three sets of two, next time you do a move up. Right here, that's what you want. Let's go, three sets. Two, we're gonna move to this grip. This grip kind of gets the lower part. Really helps you build the wing. We're doing 10 plus reps each set. I try to get to 15 at least. Set three. Slow and control. Slow and steady when the race. When you feel that burn, when you feel that burn, keep going. That's a great feeling. So, the next exercise we're going to move on to is the T-bar rows. Um, depending on your strength, it's going to depend on how much weight you use. Um, I like to do a rep range of 8 to 12 reps where I'm really working. We're going to use both grips. So this grip right here, this grip is going to focus more on the upper, upper lats and your traps. This one is more the mid back and we want to hit both of them so we're going to use uh, both grips. So I'll do 8 to 12 with this one, then he'll go 8 to 12 with that grip, then as soon as he's done, we're going to superset it. Huh? You want to point to them so they can see? Yeah. Lat. So, your lats, right here. This grip will hit the upper portion as well as the traps. This grip right here is going to hit more the mid back. Now, when you come up, when you come up, you get this part of the motion, you want to squeeze your lats. So, once again, a workable weight. We're gonna be working hard, eight to 12 reps. I'll go, he'll go, then we'll switch grips. I'll go, he'll go, then we'll have our rest period. Let's get it. We 
make it tour this time. But we shooting for that eight at least. <laughs> All right, so now we about to finish with a drop set. So we got 345s in there. So we're gonna do our usual eight reps of the 345s, but then we're gonna take the 45 plate off. Immediately after our eight reps, with, with two 45s on, we're gonna do 10 reps. We're gonna take the 45 off and leave one 45 on. We're gonna do 15 reps. So we're going eight, 10, 15, uh, back to back to back. So what this does, there's more time under tension, uh, more muscle fiber recruitment. Um, basically, the more, the longer you are working out, like the how, like say if you're if you're curling and you're doing it for 10 seconds, if you're trying to be curling for 20 seconds, that the longer as the longer your muscle under tension, that's the more blood flow uh, to the muscles, which is going to allow you to get bigger. Too. So I feel the blood rushing, my back is burning, my biceps are also burning too. So you use your, your biceps when you're doing back. So if you feel it in your biceps, if you're not doing it wrong, that's just another muscle that's being worked as well. So this is one of my favorite exercises, the deadlift. Um, when it comes to back day, a lot of people tell me they want to lose weight or get in shape, but they ain't deadlifting. If it's on leg day, they ain't squatting. So this is one of the main exercises between squats and deadlifts that you need to be doing, that you need to have in your workout regimen, no matter your workout goes. What do you mean, no matter your fitness goes? So, I'm gonna start with 135, just give you the proper form, uh, proper breakdown. Some people, they can have their hands, they have their hand like this. I personally, for better grip, I use an over under grip, over under hand grip. When I'm going heavy, if I keep my hands like this, I try to keep it about shoulder width in between the, those little lines right there, in between the lines. And I do a stiff leg form, or a slightly stiff leg form. I guess stiff leg could be straight up, but I have just a slight bend in my leg. Try to keep your back straight. You don't wanna be hunched over. You wanna keep your back straight. Keep your core tight. Keep your feet close together. A narrow width. Hand straight up. Boom, stand up straight. Boom, like this. Uh, explode up. Stay on your heels. Stay on your heels. Knees slightly bent. Boom, just like this. Mm. Now, with this, you're gonna work the hamstrings. You're gonna work the glutes. And it's gonna work the lower back. Set one. Head up straight, coming down. All you ladies who say you wanna, you wanna get your butt bigger, you need to be doing this exercise. The glute, this is this taxes the glute, also known as the butt, along with the hamstring, along with that lower back. All right, so now we got on 225. Still a warm up um, for you fellas out there who who want bigger legs, who who want to be stronger, want stronger legs, bigger legs, a stronger back, a stronger core. You need to be doing this. You know, this is a a a, a major a major workout if you want to get strong and just overall fitness in general. You know, you go from the from the uh, from, from the bottom up. So this all your testosterone is in your legs. So you need to be doing this workout so it can also help with your upper body growth as well by building more testosterone in your body so now I'm, it's a little bit heavier um, once the weight gets heavier you need to be tighter you need to make sure you come in you know what I'm saying you keeping everything tight already be tight as if you lift it keep everything tight 
you know, don't be like a days, don't be like a days ago when you're trying to mess with heavyweight. For me, this isn't that heavy, but I'm just for those who it is heavy or when we get up to heavyweight, you want to stay locked into the workout. So don't be like a days ago. You come over, step up to it, grab it, keep everything tight. Boom, explode up. Boom, explode up. Boom. Boom, just like that. Boom, stay locked in. Hey, tighten up the mat. That lower abdomen, that lower abdomen on the way up. Exhale, squeeze that too. To the ladies, I recommend you going heavy. If you say you want that butt and you want it bad, go heavy on deadlifts. Do not go light. Do not give me three sets of 20 reps. Go heavy. Give me four or five sets of eight reps or less. Now, 275 might not be the heavy I'm talking about for you. It may be 135. That's fine, but whatever is heavy for you, if it's 135, you can do only eight reps with it, five reps with it, six reps, go heavy. Your legs respond better to heavier weight. So, and this is a, a workout, it's a powerlifting workout, this is deadlift, so you wanna go heavy. I promise you, those glutes will grow if you are consistent and going heavy with your deadlifts. You know, I would, I would recommend between um, four to five sets of from four to eight reps maybe starting off at that eight rep range and then as you get to close to the third fourth and fifth set then you want to go down I mean keep going up in weight and then maybe shooting for that four to five rep range you will tax your glutes you will feel it in your glutes you will fit in your hams you will feel it in your lower back but I'm telling you if you want your group your glutes to grow if you want your butt to grow heavy weight on your deadlift do not and, when you start off, yeah, you want to get the bar first, the 45-pound bar. You want to work on your form. Understandable. Definitely work on your form because this, this exercise, it does tax your back and you don't want to do improper form and hurt yourself. But once you have worked on your form, you're comfortable with going up in weight, go heavy. And when I say go heavy, I don't say go to 275. Whatever is heavy for you, that's what you need to go up to. And I promise you, those, gl those glutes will grow a lot quicker than if you were to go you know what I'm saying, light, and you giving me 12 plus reps and just working on your endurance. Heavy weight will help those glutes grow. All right, fellas, I'm about to get on you now. You talking about your squats ain't where they supposed to be, your, your lower back hurt and you ain't comfortable squatting because it put too much pressure on your lower back. You do these, your squats to go up. Your lower back will be stronger. You will handle the weight better. So, fellas, Whatever heavy to you, you need to be going up to that weight. Giving me four or five sets, four to eight reps. You don't need to be going higher than that, 10, 12. No, we trying to build strength. Give me eight, eight reps or, or less with some heavy weight. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid of the weight. Challenge yourself. At one point, I was doing that with 225, not 315. Consistent habits. Keep your form right, keep your technique right. Always go heavy. Stay consistent at it. You need to be doing legs and back two times a week at least. Keep it heavy, keep it consistent. And you're gonna see the results you want, I promise. All right, ladies, it's my last one and I'm done picking on y'all. It's a myth that if you go heavy, that you're gonna have a muscular, manly looking butt. 
back, arms, legs. That's a myth. Your body is estrogen. It's a lot of estrogen in you. Not that much testosterone. Hardly any. So if you lift heavy, I don't even care if you're a power lifter. If you're lifting crazy heavy as a woman and you're doing it naturally, you will still look ladylike. You will still look womanly. You will still have your curve, your softness. You will still, you know, look like a woman. Now, yes, if you inject testosterone or steroids into yourself, then yes, you will look like a man. You will look like me. You will have more muscular, manly, manly looking body parts. But as long as you're not doing any of those substances and you're all natural, you know, just taking maybe a pre-workout, protein, your vitamins, eating healthy. If you go heavy, I don't care if you can deadlift or squat 300 pounds. You will still look like a woman. You will still have your womanly shape. So that, that is a myth. Do not be scared. Do not be scared to go heavy. You will still look like a woman. I promise you. Last set, 365. I'm locked in. Three to five reps. I'm about to dog it. Let's go. The heavier, the better. Don't be afraid of the heavy weight. It's good for you.